got Ben Burgess' ground care stuff here. Gators. <laughs> Dad's just been recognised. He's like, ah, oh, I got a fan. How you guys work with Ben Burgess? If you could just let him know a bit more. Yeah. Oh, I need to get so much more cheese. <laughs> yeah, we're here. Hey, there we are. Which one? I feel really tiny. <laughs> I'm going, I'm going over there. Yeah, yeah. I'm just going say, if I tiptoe and you come down a bit, that would be. She's not. <laughs> so, we're here with Francis. So, you're the chairman of uh, Norfolk Young Farmers. So, what is it that you guys do and how you guys work with them birds? Yeah, yeah, so Young Farmers is an organisation, Norfolk Young Farmers was founded in 1944. Um, so we've been going for about 78 years now, so quite a while. Um, we tie in with Ben Burgess quite nicely. They've been sort of one of our main sponsors this year. They're very keen to help us. So we are the UK, part of the UK's largest rural youth organisation. Um, so we provide training and social opportunities for members that work within agriculture and agriculture related industries. Um, it's very important to have sort of those social links because farming can be very lonely, one of the highest rates of suicide in the UK and those sorts of things. Um, so we work together, we have 10 clubs in Norfolk who all meet once a week uh, throughout the sort of normal working months, not across the summer because obviously it means of harvest. Yeah. Um, and Ben Bird just really recognises how important young farmers is to the rural youth community. Um, our members are the farming future. Yeah. They're already working on farms or getting into their own farms and owning their own farms or renting their own farms and they are the agricultural future which Ben Bird just recognises really well which is fantastic that they've decided to sort of partner with us this year. They, uh, they want to help us, they want to work with us and they promote us at any opportunity which is really really fantastic so one of the biggest um, machinery dealerships in not one not just North but East Anglia as well so we're yeah. really really happy to work with them and sort of form this relationship, this bond with them that we can use for a number of years. And how can our viewers get more involved with what Norfolk Young, young Farmers do? Yep, so how can we, we get more involved. Yeah, I think I think I think it's between is it between Not 18 and 30? 16 to 30. 16 to 30, sorry guys. 30, but we also have our countrysiders which are from 10 to 16. Um, we have a website, uh, Norfolk YFC Credit UK. Have a look on there, find us on Facebook, or Instagram, yeah. our sign-in forms or sign-up forms to sort of get a membership for online as well. All clubs operate on a premise that you can have two free meetings before you need to sign up as members so you can come have some case sessions yeah see what it is get a feel for it if you like what you see and you make some friends sign up and come along and anyone's involved anyone's open to join <laughs> one of our sayings is you don't have to be a young farmer to be a young farmer so you don't need to be directly related to agriculture to come along, along. Get involved. yeah come along get involved see what you can get out you get as much out as you put in so you put more in you get more out and it's yeah. always worth it Thank you so much. Yeah. All right, amazing. See you ladies down, you know. Yeah. Can we have a look at the farm? I think you'll find that's going to be an issue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can't wait to sign up. Yeah. But you're too old. Thank you so much. Really, really appreciate it. Good afternoon, viewers. We're here with Richard from Aylsham Depot, Ben Burgess. Standing in front of the new Veritron. Veritron? Veritron 270. Veritron 270. Looks like a beast. Um, this machine's been out a while, but this is the first time we've decided to buy our own demonstrator. Okay. We normally rely on um, Grimmy to, to use their machine, yeah. um, but the self propelleds are becoming really popular machines now, so yeah. they do several uh, self propelled machines. Uh, this is a, a two row two row machine with a seven ton bunker. The guts of it is sort of based on the trail machine, the, the popular GT170. Yeah. So the front end of the machine is exactly the same as the trail. Yeah. And then we use uh, we have to separators on the back, uh, which again is the same as the as the trail machine. Yeah. And then uh, we've got a four man picking off table. Yeah. And then uh, a seven ton bunker. Is it me or is this longer and more stretched out than a trailed machine or would it be about the same sort of size? Uh, it's longer obviously. Yeah. We've got the trail machine wouldn't have the tank in the middle. Yeah. So the, the webs would be the same length. Separation area at the back, the multi steps would still be the same length. Yeah, same width, same length. Yeah. So uh, but yeah, yeah, they are they are a longer machine. Yeah. Um, and we sell we sell a lot of two uh, twenties around here, which is a similar machine with a two ton bunker on. Yeah. And then we've got um, five or six four seventies. Yeah. So that's a four row machine with a 
seven tonne bumpers. So Something I want to demo of. Yeah, so we, we, we run those. Uh, hint, hint, hint. <laughs> we run those on, on either tracks or, uh, or wheels. So that, yeah. What do you say to anyone that's kind of looking to make that change from, you know, the, to... yeah, a trail to a self-propelled? It's just the speed operation, really, and you know, obviously having the bunker. Yeah. And uh, you just keep going. You haven't got to wait for the trailers to catch up. You can almost do away with a trailer or two sometimes. Yeah. You can almost um, you can almost take a trailer to the field yourself. Yeah. Get your harvester fired up, load a trailer, ready for someone to come and collect. Yeah. And it is the wet conditions, you know, when you when you get a wet harvest and you're you're messing around trying to pull a trail machine with two tractors. Yeah. You know, one with a chain on the front trying to pull yourselves across the field. This yeah. machine will just go in and uh, just keep not, going not make a mess either. yeah and the, the tracks are so good they're spreading the weight yeah uh, so that's that's a lot of the reason if the, the guys are getting bigger growing more potatoes yeah. they're, they're lifting for longer yeah so that's more output that's that's a lot of the reason is just so you can actually get on and you can grow more potatoes with the confidence that you can get out of the ground so um can i ask a, a maybe a silly question can it only be used for potatoes Pardon? You can, uh, yeah, you can you can set it up for carrots yep. and onions. So you have yep. to change the front end, use some different webs. Different um, rollers on the cleaning system. Yeah, so that. you can change the insides to match different crops. So yeah. you can lift uh, yeah carrots if you want, which would be parsnips. Parsnips, yeah, most fruit crops you can yeah. lift with it. Yeah. yeah. Amazing. Thank you so yeah. much. Nice question. Oh, can I have a pair of sunglasses? Yeah. Are you joking me? Oh, I need there? to get so much more cheeky. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, all right. Oh man, they are so going to be stolen. I'm, yeah, I'm yeah. so stealing them, and I'm loving the look, by the way. Thank you, Richard. No problem. <laughs> Most appreciate it. Darn it! Well. Should have got in there first. <laughs> you having fun? Yeah, no, like this kid is sweet. <laughs> it looks good on you. It does it? Does yeah. It does my shirt. Yeah, it actually matches. By the way, he's just stolen some some sunglasses. Uh, yeah. yeah. Have you got any Kramer glasses as well? We have, but not with me, so I can't. Uh, yeah. Next time, maybe. Yeah. They're, a lot, they're a lot nicer than those, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're actually cream, yeah. So, uh, yeah, we're here with Andrew Dixon. She's going to explain a little bit about the Kramer. Um, there are several models here on show, so over to you. Yeah, well, this is one of our most popular models, four tons to seven meters, so a real good general ag truck. 136 horsepower Deutz engine. 40k on the road, all the bells and whistles for 40k, so um, boom suspension, air seats, and everything what the what the operator needs really. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it looks a nice compact machine for having a lot of horsepower. So. We have different model platforms. This is the large this is the largest machine on our standard platform. Okay. Above this one we go up to a four and a half ton seven meters, but the truck is it is a wider and a longer a longer yeah, platform for that. Yeah. yeah. So for a compact machine this really does fit. We offer, we offer this truck in um, two different cab heights. Yeah. This is the high cab option with two steps up into the cab. Yeah. 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 So for better visibility, or you can have it with one step, the cab's lower down. So if you've got any lower sheds and whatever, yeah. then we're down to... Um, still get it in your cattle yeah, shed and stuff like that. Yeah. Dad, Daniel wants one because it matches his shirt. Um, and then we've got one behind us, and then yep. there's a little mini one just behind that as well. Yeah, well, the one behind us there, that's five and a half tonne. Yep. Right. So that's our <clears throat> so five and a half ton again to seven meters. So a real uh, heavy duty grain loading grain loading machine. It's a longer. Sh this is on the heavy duty chassis. Yeah. So it's a longer chassis. It's a wider chassis. Much stronger on the boom and the main main pivot points. Bigger engine coupled to a bigger hydraulic pump. Yeah. You've got to have a big engine with a big hydraulic pump that just stores it all down. Yeah. Yeah. So that's a really good a really good sellers for us. Let's say in East Anglia. Yeah. Yeah. The, the five reaches, and a half ton yeah. seven meters seven. We do exactly the same truck in um, eight and three quarters, which is a five five nine. Yeah. But they're both exactly the same. One hundred and fifty six horsepower, one hundred and eighty nine liters a minute hydraulic. Would, would a nine so, be a chassis then? Yeah. Slightly longer chassis okay. to would, get would the a, longer booming. Would a nine be a triple stage boom or is a, it a nine? Is a, is it still a two stage boom? Right, we are just launching on that chassis a thirty six ten, 
which is 3.6 tons to nine and a half meters and that is the first three stage boom we've ever made okay so that is that's just coming into the country this this summer and then yeah. you've got a tiny little baby one over there which is what two and a half ton machine yeah it's actually 1.45 okay yeah, yeah. to 4.3 meters yeah so it's a real really really small machine weighs less than three tons yeah um <clears throat> You can have with a 28 horsepower or a 45 horsepower engine. So again, everything's really, really compact. But when you sit in it, it's nearly like a TARDIS. The cab's bigger on the inside than it is on the outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, for, for somebody that's um, got yeah. to do something by hand, yeah. it's, it's fantastic. We've only just launched that, that model. And to be honest, we just can't produce them fast enough. Yeah, cool. Yeah, thank send, you. Send the link through and we'll have a look at yeah. yeah, thank you. And we need to get you some new sunglasses and definitely need <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, you've just found a best friend, you know yeah, that, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm a volunteer ambassador. We've actually only got um, just over two full-time staff in the fundraising office. Yeah. But in the last, just over three years, we've raised 10.3 million pounds. Wow. So we're trying to raise 12 and a half million um, so we've got 2.2 to go in yeah. 2022. And um, the, the reason we're here today is, well, stores are terribly expensive, aren't they? Yeah. So we're piggybacking on the back of Ben Burgess. Yeah, yeah. And Ben Burgess, uh, Ben Turner Senior and Junior in particular, have been really, really supportive and have made quite a few donations to the charity. Where is your hospice? Uh, the the hospice, well, the current hospice, Priscilla Baker Lodge, which was built 43 years ago, is in Norwich. Okay. Yeah. Uh, top of one thank road, Coleman Road, if you don't know yeah, Norwich. I do know. Uh, yeah. 16 beds right. for uh, nearly 1.2 million people. Yeah, it's not a lot. The government it? minimum for a county this size should be at least 50. Yeah. So we're moving to, I'll show you best on here. Oh. Here's one I prepared earlier. Yeah. Ta -da. That's a photo. Um, that's the new Norfolk and Norwich Hospital, the roundabout. Yeah. Go yeah. that way for A&E, that way for the wards. And we've been gifted oh, wow. eight acres of land. Gifted Amazing. eight acres of land perfect. by um, R.G. Carter, Robert Carter, who's uh, head of the trustees. Yeah. And we're building this, which is a purpose-built, state-of-the-art hospice. Yeah. I, I know the chaplain at the current Priscilla Bacon Lodge. Beds are so short that if someone passes away, then the management team have to get together, her included, and they have to choose who's going to get the next bed. Isn't that awful? Yeah. This is a fantastic facility, and it's being built not just for today, but for the future. Yeah. Um, and how can our viewers find out and help the charity? PriscillaBaconHospice.org. Thank you for the chat. Thank you. Thank you. Well, we've almost made the 2.2 million. I know, I know, right? We didn't put any notes in, we put notes in, we did. Well, what's new on Gary? Well, we've got Gary Green Crop coming up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, what's new on Gary? What's new on Green Crop in Green Crop? Okay, so we've got a new product here today, which is our little JT32 Yeah. Um, this is mainly designed for residential um, use, sort of more commercial use. And use Almost use. like um, village greens and stuff yeah, like village that. Village greens, cricket pitches, yeah. um, in equestrian centres as well. If you've got you know um, rolling yeah. arenas and, yeah. and things like that, so we've got our two DR um, dirty water pump, yeah. which is uh, self priming. Uh, runs at a maximum uh, flow of 28 cubes an hour. Right. Um, and it's, it's, it's used for pumping, um, pumping dirty water, um, and they it comes with a PTO shaft suction kit, um, and is all assembled ready to go um, as as it sits now. So uh, cool then, thing. yeah, no, yeah, it's, it's, it's a nice little setup. Being an engineer, I always have to dip a dip. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely, yeah. definitely. So. Yeah. Um, yeah, and we've got um, a couple of other bits here today as well. So we've got our pump in the box, uh, which we normally pair up with our multi cam, which is sat just the other side of you as well, which um, we sell as a kit with a, with a hose. Yep. This is usually used for pumping out, again, dirty water. Um, if, you, if you've got a pile of washings and, and, and water on a dairy farm, for example, you want to get rid of, yep. that's ideal for using, yeah. using for that. Yeah. Um, and then we've also got our blue line slurry pump, which is actually um, comes with a six inch inlet and suction hose and this again using um, slurry um, if people got an umbilical setup uh, with a drum bar or um, injector that's uh, ideal to be using 
um, the very very bulletproof pump it comes with a hydraulic oil cooler as well to keep the system nice and cold right um, and yeah all right, Matthew, okay. thank you very much. You're welcome. That's thank um, you. Most, most appreciated. You did really good. <laughs> All right. We're still filming. What have you got to say to everyone? What have they got to do if they like the channel? Like, subscribe. <laughs> and like. And like. Yeah, yeah there you go. Yeah. Thank you, Paul. <laughs> it's almost like I didn't never told you what to say. Almost. <laughs> almost, yeah.